Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Queen's Wish. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today, as those doors don't like staying in one place. Do you see them doing weird things? Yeah, they're doing weird things. <laughs> That's really weird, actually. Uh, well, they're gonna continue doing weird things, because we have a lot of things to see. What is this? We are right now in Haven Farm up here, and, uh, the door is locked. The door is locked. That door is not. There is, however, a Myrling Flinger in there, which is obviously a person who <laughs> flings Myrlings at you. Um, that's just how it goes. I'll go ahead and get Haven. Should I really bother? I should. Uh, Haven's might, and immediately we're in combat, and also immediately we're very loud. Um, not too loud. I, I just didn't. I had to check. Uh, and now we have Jeff. At the front. Oh, no, we're not in combat. Now we're in combat. Very slow. Interesting. Uh, I'll go ahead and attack this guy over here. Then I want to do anything with you. I'll just attack that guy over there because I... Yeah, we're taking a little bit of damage here. That's a critical. Yeah, we're taking a little bit of damage. Not a big deal. And then you can go over there and bother that wolf. Let's kill that flinger. There is a basher. Yeah, it was a good decision to do what I did. Almost a kill there. That's a kill. They make terrible noises. That wolf is gone. Okay, they got a critical for 10. Not that great. And now we're spreading our damage. Which, as well, is not that great. Uh, miss? Okay. Mm, that's you back here. I'm gonna need to move. And uh, there's another one coming. A shaman this time. Uh, I can't do much. Wait, what? You can't rush the foe. The path is blocked. Your face is blocked. How is it blocked? Oh, I see. I, I understand. That's how you do. Um, and then... I don't need to do anything with you. Let's just focus over here. See if I can bring this guy down. And then we'll worry about you. With Mario. Maybe. We are very fast. I do notice that our spellcaster is not very fast. Nice evasion there. Let's get that touched out of the way. For a heal. That's a kill. And I think we're going to be fine. We're going to continue taking a lot of damage. But touch his life. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, well. Blessing on just two of them. Which really doesn't matter. Uh, 23 damage. That does matter, though. That is a lot of damage. Bring the Shaman down as soon as possible. That's a kill, finally. I uh, should, should have healed. No, oh, that's fine. That I should not have healed, as it turns out. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to attack here. Nice. We are taking tremendous amounts of damage, though. Let's just get everybody over here and get a healing wave, which is pretty good. You have healing for yourself. I'm sorry, I'm using the edges of the screen. And we're good. Two energy, I think we got. Eh, it's pretty good. So we didn't waste any of the recovery. But that was a tough fight, which is expected because we are in a tougher area. We also have a scroll of calling. Creates a construct to fight for you. I like that. I like constructs that fight for me. A little bit of gold as well. That, that doesn't matter as much. But nobody is around here. Which is a big surprise. I really thought that we were going to talk to somebody and be like, they'd be like, hey, no, every every other building is, uh, it, it's just got a bunch of, uh, bunch of people. And especially because this building wasn't marked. Uh, but I guess, I guess we do what we must, because we can. Let's do this. Spike slimes. That doesn't look very spiky, but I will trust you. Uh, let's see. I want you... Oh, lovely sounds. Battle Frenzy. We are in combat. Okay. Not great. Immediately a critical for 48. That is, that is great. 
there were two of them over there. Should have done the poison, even though they're immune. No, they're mental resist. They're not poison resist? It doesn't say. So I suppose they're not. Um, I need to walk four for that? No, I don't. What the heck? Hi! Uh, yeah. So... That's a nice kill. It's two turns in a row. Two criticals as well. Uh, let's do a fireball. Maybe they don't like it. No, oh, one evaded. The I beg to differ. Or rather, one evaded indeed, but the point is, this one got hit as well. Okay, now we're bleeding from our wounds. It's fine. 38, and that's a bacon. I love it. It's such a... Gr Terrence is fantastic, honestly. As, a, as an attacker. I absolutely underestimate him. Just how powerful his attacks are. Okay. We're still bleeding a lot, which is not great. But, uh, you know, it's fine. Okay. You can heal yourself. Uh, that was not what I wanted, but I suppose that's that's what we got. You're still bleeding. There we go. Such is life. Uh, you should be able to heal yourself and her pretty good. We shouldn't need more energy than we have already. This should be way... Well, it's more than enough. So, we got that one. We didn't get... What was the one? Well, I guess I can only tell from here. The workshop. Oh, yeah. We went to the south one, not to this one. And more wood. I'll take all the wood. That's just wood for days. What enemies do we fight in here? This is the Haven Farm Distillery. The huge still is surprisingly intact, ready to make strong spirits and more. There are intact barrels to the south, probably full of old, soured booze. You are surprised to find cinnabar piled everywhere. This colony has been running a highly profitable business creating quicksilver. If you could reclaim Haven Farm, it could provide serious supplies. Oh, you know I'm all about those serious supplies, yeah I am. No joking, no joking supplies here. Suddenly, several of the barrels to the south smash open. Drunken mirelings roll out and stumble to their feet. It's an ambush! Howling incoherently, they rush at you like jerks. Ah, such terribleness that is happening. However, uh, I have also terrible things for them. They are not going to like what is about to happen. Shockwave for everybody. Well, not everybody, but all of them got stunned. Uh, so I'll just attack you here. I'll move over here and attack you there. I'll heal you. Oh, yeah. Please come. Yes. Please join us. The water's absolutely fine. Uh, we are going to do another shockwave in here. It doesn't look like it's going to hit that one, but it doesn't matter. That's an evasion over here, and I do not like that at all. Let's distribute the damage a little bit, because Mario comes in here and wrecks their crap. No bacon down here, unfortunately. Um, hmm. That's better than attacking this one. Critical for 23. An evasion. 12 damage. Not great. Kill. Let's attack you there, because I think that guy's going to die. Like so. And this guy's still going to get a hit on... Uh, get a uh, hit in, but we shouldn't. It's not. A, it's not a problem. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. That that's, that's about right. That's about right. I, I I find that I don't use Mario's abilities or energy all that much, because he he's just he's not fast enough with his weapon. I mean, he's fast enough. He's just not fast enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's just, he, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't have the key for this. What is this? 
Oh, as you walk outside, you feel a chill. Something has changed. Your cleansing of Haven Farm has angered the source of the affliction. You see a sickly green gleam in the middle of one of the western fields. Something is standing there, stirring a giant vat. It is probably going to create guardians to replace the ones you destroyed, unless you stop it. That sounds like a plan. Also, it's a Havenite Lich. You could say you could say that. You could say that it's a Havenite Lich. Because it is a Havenite Lich. Also, oh, there it is. Uh, run away. No, 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 no. Quick load. That's the one. And then I... Oh. I want... Haven's Might. Yeah. And then I move up. You approach the figure in the middle of the field. It is stirring a bubbling cauldron with its thin arms. No, not thin. Skeleton. Like actual bones. The thing... That's what skeletal means, yes. Uh, the, the, the thing is a green glowing skeleton wearing the tattered... Oh no, that's like actually, that's like, that's in the sort of informal way of saying, like, actual bones. Get it, my dude? Yes. Uh, the thing is green glowing, uh, the thing is a green glowing skeleton wearing the tattered robes of a haven sage. The magic of the Ahriel woods reanimated it, and it, it dug its way out of a grave and started causing trouble. It points a stick, dripping globs of goo at you. Rga, it says. Or rag, maybe. I, it's either way. It's, it's fine. I am Prince Jeff of Haven. You may return to your rest, Sage. The skeleton tilts its head to the side like a dog. Something about your words registers with it, but for only a moment. It is a servant of the forest now. It says, Ragel. Blobs of smile start to ooze out of the pot. And the conversation ends. Such is life. Okay. Uh, we wasted a little bit of this. It's still 16 turns, so that should be more than enough. Um, <clears throat> time warp. Let's see what I can do here. Mental resist. A bunch of resists. Critical chance, 5%. Speed bonus, 30. Stun resist, curse resist. Physical, magical. Yeah, it's just normal flat attack, basically. Um, it, magic is even pretty good. So I'll just... Uh, Shock attack. That does up to 65. That's pretty good. An evasion. I am not a fan of such uh, behavior, sir. I must uh, brutal blow you. There we go. Bleeding immune, but it's fine. Um, then I will attack you with this. Not a critical for 27. Uh, I will continue attack. I can just press A three times. And I will bring to your attention. Oh my god. Oh my god. Terrence has attacked three times before the, the Lich even had a chance to attack. Bleeding Immune, but a lot of damage. And now Mario finally has a chance. And Bleeding Immune, which is a shame because... Oh, yeah, because of that. That's that's why. That was that miss. We had a single miss. We would be able to kill it. We would have been able to, uh, to kill it before it summoned the thing if we didn't miss that. Your blow rips through the rotting robes and smashes the old rotting pile of bones into... The, which is not that many smashes. The skeleton falls to the ground and constantly decay uh, or in instantly decays into slime one thing does it remain intact it's an old copper key on a steel chain you take it yeah but also uh enemies there's a lot of them uh this doesn't hurt our friends no it does not the undead horror has been chopped into bits and stomped into the turf. The chill fades and everything seems a little nicer. Soon Fort Mist can send workers to rebuild this colony and put it to work. It will be a good source of quicksilver for your alchemists and for you to repair the portal home. Yes, the portal home needs to be indeed repaired. Uh, what can I do here? A lot of bacon. My favorite. Not really. I mean, sure, but mm, that's a miss. At, oh, okay. Oh, and they're summoning scorpions, no less. Because, of course, what would slime summon if not scorpions? We know this to be the, the case for everything. Scorpions tend to be very weak, though. And I missed, of course. There we go. I didn't miss that time. Huh. So the key... Well, opens. Uh, it should at least open this, but it could open the other doors. There's many doors. There's Wolf in here, being all wolfy. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
excuse my clearing of the throat. Uh, evaded. Yeah, I know it sucks. It sucks when I miss as well. There we go. What did you have for me? An iron bar. It's my favorite kind of bar. It's the iron bar. I don't know if there's other things. Please give me all the iron bars. This one doesn't have anything. And I don't think the one up, uh, up there has anything either. This one does. Mm hmm. <gasps> Silver bar, that's just money. Fortune charm for extra to hit chance. Uh, well, that's for you. You are amazing. Uh, elixir. Well, actually, it might be for you. Because you are also amazing. Uh, elixir stone ring for extra maximum energy. Uh, that is for you. What do you have? Physical armor? It's not too bad. It's just for maximum energy. So it is. It is sort of... I, I, I'm not a fan of the maximum energy thing. It doesn't work as nicely as I would want it to, honestly, because there really is a reward for you to um, only wear that at the beginning of uh, an invasion and then you switch it to for another ring. <gasps> hiccup. Mm -hmm. That's that, uh, that was a hiccup. There's a gray widow back there. It's not a black widow. No, no, no. It's a gray one because the blacks are the... The, the black the black widows are the real are the real threat. I remember learning about them when I was a kid about the black widows, uh, and I learned I might be wrong or I might have been I might be wrong as to if I learned it or not, but I also might be wrong about um, if it is true or not that they are the most venomous in the world. The most uh. Is it venomous? Yeah, it is venomous. It's the word that you say. <laughs> the most venomous spiders in the world. But not the most venomous animals, though. And I believe that is the... Uh, there is a... A man war. But I don't remember. And they're shiny and... Pretty. Although the black, the black widows are really pretty as well. The gray ones... No, they're not. They're, they suck. They don't exist, but they also suck. Because they, they died very fast. So we got another one of the um, Scroll of Calling. It's exactly the same as the other one. Not much else. I did get that, right? I did get that. Okay. And, uh, well, I guess that's... Uh, well, it's, it might not be that. Because this over here might have a door. I don't think it does, but it does not. Which means now our objective is to go home as fast as possible so I can spend that uh, iron... Uh, well, I'll say as fast as possible because it is really a matter of of time. I will go manually because I don't trust the game to calculate things in my favor. If I fast travel. Okay. And this means... Where did I put... I put you over there. Okay. And this means that I will be able to spend that iron into another one of those things that basically gets me... To, uh, to lose money every day. <laughs> or every couple of days. Uh, okay, so I have current earnings. Yeah, yeah, that's not... That's the one. So we have apothecaries. We have a lot. We have a smith... Oh, you jerk. You don't even have a mill or a distillery or a bakery. What does it do? You need to build a mill in the... Fo oh, right. A mill. A valuable addition that earns more gold. Right. Yeah, those those really don't matter. I mean, maybe they do, because I am poor. But in comparison to what I probably should have compared to, you know, what things cost. Um, there's an upgrade for it. Hmm. So I could get a mill... I could get a weaving room as well. I don't have any. Yep. That's pretty important because that adds to inventory space. So weaving room goes in here. The tailor for your fort stands ready to take orders. Custom robes and hoods can be made for your characters. Um, yes, it's magical uh, equipment. I need a bigger backpack. Every time you buy two... 
two new weavers, the size of the, your backpack increases by one. To get a bigger pack, install new weavers in the forts. Yeah, I know. I know. See you later, I suppose. But I don't have the iron. This is unbelievable. It is really weird. It is super weird that iron is such a... It's so... It's, it's just basically everything. Iron is everything. Edmund! Uh, um... You mentioned that I could help with your research. Indeed. You see, on the south coast, southeast of Meshidi, we have a stone... So oh, yeah, I talked about it. Uh, I I need to go and see that as well. However, I cleared Haven Farm out. Nice. It won't take long to get some settlers working there. I, a share of their efforts will go to you, of course, for rebuilding and such. Thanks, Jeff. Uh... Our supply is holding out now. Better. It takes a long time to build a good, profitable colony. I'll make sure it's done. And I'll try not to be too much of a pain in your butt. Uh, yeah, basically that's that. We completed the, the mission here. Apart, uh, I mean, one of the missions anyway. Because we have the other one. So let's do the other one. Also, we have a lot to explore. So, you know. Let's see. Uh, save the game, but just in case, because I'm not really sure about the autosaves. Outside Fort Mist, a warmly lit house has its do uh, door propped wide open. The sign beside the door says, Ariel Welcome Center. Outside it, in the middle of the flower of a flower garden, an easel has been set up with a large blank canvas. No one is in sight, but little puffs of smoke float out of the chimney. The house, surprisingly, contains a cafe. Um, that is surprising. Little tables and chairs. A well-stocked liquor, sh liquor shelf with a uh, selection of haven spirits. Several soldiers are here. That's not a cafe. Every wall is covered in paintings. Wild forests, still lives, and... Uh, uh, that is how it's pronounced. It's... Mo uh, Pluralized? Hmm. And the people of the Hachriel are all signed with a sloppy PG something something. I don't know. I'm not sure what that means. A young Havenite with messy long hair and a tan vest lounges by the window. He has a pipe in one hand, charcoal in the other absorbed in his sketching. The charcoal is absorbed in sketching. I'm going to interrupt the artist, though. You get close before he reacts. He stops sketching and looks up, irritated. One second, and I can't... Oh, you're not Ariel. You're the prince. He doesn't rise or bow or kneel. I'm Paul, painter, and uh, Haven's Way agent for the Ariel. Uh, what's up, your royalness? Uh, what the impudent word again. Uh, are there? Uh, are these all your paintings? His face turns proudly to the wall. Yes, this is part of the sacramentum. This is... This part of Sacramentum has been a real inspiration. I send them to my dealer in Haven. She finds buyers, or she tries to. Uh, would you paint something for me? Nah, I don't take commissions. That's why I work an actual job. Are, is he saying that are, are, making painting is not an actual job? Because I think that's what he's saying. Can I punch him in the face game? This way I get to paint for myself. What I want, and only when I feel like it. I think he is saying that. Okay. Uh, and uh, do you get buyers? He scowls. No, but all great artists are never appreciated in their time. Mark my words, Jeff. My work will become valuable one day, probably after I'm dead. Uh, you're an, a Haven's Way agent. Yeah, Jeff. Uh, it's my job. I work for the Haven's Way Society. They advance Haven interests in our colonies, mostly getting locals to work with or for us. Not the worst job I've ever had. It's not the job I have either, because I said I had a real job. It pays my bills. It doesn't really, but it, because the real job does. And lets my travel lets me travel the world. In return, I recruit Ariel soldiers for Haven. How's the recruiting going? He indicates the half-empty room. Decent. We get a lot, uh, lots of locals late at night, mostly trench folk who are tempted to sample Haven brews and liquors, because this is not a cafe, this is a bar. He points to the bar, precisely. I never get blessed, which is probably for the best. Eh, at least I have plenty of time for my art. Uh, why is never getting blessed for the best? I don't know, maybe because they're completely crazy? He's being sarcastic, I want to punch him more. Don't get me wrong, I'd totally try to elixir... Or, I'd totally try that elixir of theirs if I could. I think it'd improve my painting or kill me. 
One of the two. Alas, an outsider like me getting elixir is impossible. They really guard it. Yeah, unless you pay for it, apparently. Um, what are you smoking? Can I have some? A local herb mix that... Uh, a local herb mix that the non-blessed use to relax. They say it's supposed to help your creativity. When you ask if it's helped him to be, cre be creative, he frowns. No, mostly just thirsty. It does relax one, though. He says, with a, in a bout of formality. Oh, want to try it? He says, going back to his informal thing of not... Include, anyway. Uh, your duty to Haven can wait. No, I thought it was your duty to Haven calls. It is. Your duty to Haven calls. Take the pipe. Paul smiles, hands you the pipe, and watches your reaction. The first time, you cough and feel an acrid burning down the back of your throat. The second time, it manages to taste worse. With the third puff, you get very thirsty and the beginnings of a headache. You hand the, pap the pipe back with a trembling hand. Paul smirks at your disgust. Maybe you have to be born here to like it. Anything else, Prince? Uh, I thought he was from Haven. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. See you later. What a weird thing. I think I get the impression that that's probably... The, the writer just knew somebody that was like that. And I'm going to put you in the game and then them in the game. Somebody who hates painting, but still paints. This farmhouse is recently resettled by Havenites. They come out to greet you with fresh-baked bread and we a weak ale. That's my favorite. Now, the weak ale, I mean. Now that you have perched the area, your people are returning and cleaning the homes up, as well as the fields. Oh. That's pretty cool. Also, purging it, that is, that is a word. The magic infusing the Ahriel lens has taken on a much more tangible form here. Reanimated bodies lurching through the mist toward you. They get close to you, you draw your weapon, and then they crumble into dust right in front of you. Okay. Okay was the option. Yes. Okay. I think uh, also we can... Uh, no, if we go in there, we just enter the area. But not over here. I think we can go down here next episode, though. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Queen's Wish. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.